I am very, very tired. This video is, hold on, let me get right now. This video is super late because this is been done at the first of the month, not on the 25th of the month. So I have this video and also another come out in a few more days. So uh, this is our monthly report on credit here and what's going to be affecting our credit uh, if it's going up, if it's going down. So I'm trying to get to 750 uh, credit score here. Obviously, we went down a lot, 67 on this one, 20 on that one. I say same on this one. I am expecting this to drop down more. The reason why I'm expecting it to drop down more is because I have a I have a cons account that's in collections, and I have my credit card, which I have not paid off yet, and so my credit card is way past due, and it is in the uh, it's over the limit. And also on top of that, and uh, I have extra, which I missed. A 30 day payment on, so they report it negatively. So I have three things reported negatively. Maybe, maybe, maybe the next one because it happened this month. But I am expecting it to go down for this month. I'm expecting it to go down for next month. And so on the fourth month is when I'm expecting it to actually start curving up. And so without further ado, let's update. Uh, let's see my PlayStation controller here. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and update our scores and see. Uh, I should turn this thing off and see where we're at. All right, let's see if we went down or if we went up. All right. Drum roll. Wow. 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 Okay, come on, not, we're not doing this yet because you got to So that is surprising. So we're trying to get to 700. Uh, our top goal is we want to get to 750. Well, we should make a goal for 800. Right now, our short term goal is 700. And then after that, we want to get to 750, then 800. But wow. Uh, I would say do score sense because they check all, all of your credit scores here. But I was not expecting this to go up because I do have my uh, self card I have to pay off, and my extra card I have to pay off, and I have cons accounts in collection. So I had three negative things, and I was not expecting this to go up at all. Uh, but let's look at our credit report here negative items. So two currently delinquent, and three things in the last three years, a payment history right here. Okay, so we have office off uh, cons, which cons right there. Bank of America, which is zero. That's been paid off. I don't know why that's still on there. They still have it open, so I gotta call my bank and see why that's like that. Office Attorney General. See, I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, so this is the balance. All right, cause, all right, so that's the balance. I say is old on there. Which oh, I thought they paid it down. So, yeah, so I expect this to go down a lot here. So, these two, I don't know why, because these are paid off. So, I don't know why they're on there. Are they still on there? So, I'm going to figure out how to get those off of there. And so, these are my delinquent accounts that it's saying here. But I did find out that um, Extra does report to your credit here. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, nope, don't show it on there. It has to be on credit, so let's see here. No, it's closed. Revolving credit, view revolving credit. Oh no, it's still that stuff. All right, so I think it was on Equifax. Where is extra reporting to? We have Credit Strong also, which I forgot, which probably happened a lot. That's view installment because that has to be Credit Strong. Yep, Capital Bank. That's Credit Strong. Self. Capital Bank closed. All right, so that's Credit Strong. Uh, all right, we'll see our England C5. All right, so yeah, my stomach, which is my company or business loans, actually doing real good. And we got one bad on there, which is uh, cons. So that was installment loans here. Uh, let's extra would be wouldn't they be resolving revolving credit? Yep, right there. Yep, extra. So, two late payments? Wow, I thought it was one. They got me twice. I did not know that. So, extra does report to your credit, as you can see right here. 
I had everything on time, on time, on time, on time, on time, on time, on time. But I stopped here because I thought extra was important to your credit and I was going to stop using it. Until, like, uh, I think I logged on one day and I saw that actually they reports your credit and I got hit twice. Twice for that. And so that 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 is uh, also a big thing on my credit right there. I love extra because extra is a debit card, like the debit card that you have right now. But extra uses your debit card as a credit card. And so the re how they do that, say you have $500 in your bank account. Extra will let you use like 80% of that or depending on how often you have money to it and how often you use extra. It will let you use a certain percent of that, but it won't let you use the max that. So you have 500. Like when I start off, I have 500. Extra let me use 300 of my 500. And so in my bank account, I have $500. On my extra account, my extra card, I had $300. And so when it worked, say I go out and buy something for $300. Uh, extra charge at $300. It would take them two to three days to charge my bank account. And so after two to three days, the $300 will be deducted from my bank account. So it doesn't happen the same day. And the reason they do it that way is so they can report it to your credit report as credit even though it's a debit card, but because, because they are paying for it, because what Extra does, they'll pay for it with your money. So if you have $500, they'll say, they'll, they'll say okay, we, we can, we'll do 300 so it's going to happen, you know, we know you can cover your charges. And so what they'll do is, you go spend, buy a TV or something for $300, Extra will take their money, they will pay for the, three, they'll pay for 300 so it's considered credit because they're paying for it for you. And so two or three days later, they'll come, Yo, you need the 300. Like, the back home belongs to some money. You give them 300, they report it to your, your credit. But what I was doing is because I know I I knew I had 30 days to pay it back. I would I would put all my money on there. So I get my whole check, my whole, my whole check on there. So I have my $8,000. You no, know, let me use $500, right? And so I would buy something for $500. Then I would go back to my bank and I would take the 500 out and move it to a different account. And that way, extra... They'll come back to that later. What if I'm under that? I don't got it, bro. Catch me, catch me next week. They'll come back the next day. What if I? You know, they'll, they they couldn't charge the charge my account because it wasn't in there. Now I wait till like the 29th day, and I'll put it back in there. Then I get the 500, and guess what? It's reported on time. And the reason I like doing that is because it allows me to buy groceries and stuff like not groceries, but allow me to buy like some something I don't need, like something high dollar item, and I could use my debit card as a credit and allow me to pay it back. At my pace, in the thirty day on the on the thirty day thing, otherwise it'll be reported late. You can pay it back at your pace after thirty days, but it'll be reported late. So what I would do if I have thirty days to pay it back, and I spend five hundred dollars, and I get paid a thousand every week, uh, I probably take a hundred dollars, one hundred fifty dollars every week, and I put it in my account that extra's pulling from. And so, in the fourth week or so, they'll get to it and it'll be there. So it's like I'm paying myself back in payments while also building my credit up. And so I would definitely strongly recommend extra. It is extra is worth it at this point. You can make you can when you learn how to work extra, you can make your own little payments plan with it, make your own little whatever you want to do with extra. The benefit you is you make you pay it back in three days or pay it back in twenty nine days. But it will definitely help your credit as long as you keep track of that thirty day rule. It will build your credit up a lot and it will help you extend your budget. But and then but you have to remember you have to pay yourself back, so don't over expand yourself make sure you're budgeting so extra does help out with that and we got uh the other one i like a lot which is see it, it's showing as close so why they have another one i have no idea so other one i like a lot is going to be uh self because as you guys see i'm way over my balance on here which is why my thing is reporting down because i'm on my balance but what helps it out is no late payments at all and so I can keep, and so you see how, this is how long that I've been doing self. So you can see I started in, what was this, in 2020. And I was in 2021. And you can see that no late payments at all. And so that builds up my, my self credit right there. And this is my credit card for self. So self, what self can do like a triple or double whammy on your credit report. The double whammy is I have a credit card, right, which is current. The credit card reports to my credit score as a revolving line of credit, which is, I think, like 35 or 45 percent of your score. So that's one impact to have on there. The second impact is the balance, which I'm getting hit negatively on that because my balance is, is way up there. So 
I have one positive for having a credit history, a negative for that balance. My credit history right now is also considered negative because it's too new. I just got it in 2020, so it's too new. So it's considered a negative. So right now I have two negatives on me. And I can fix one of them if I pay this down. Uh, the second, I mean, the third whammy having your credit and your credit score is the on-time payments right here. So this is a bit positive on my credit score right here because this is a history. I have a credit history right here, and I have an on-time payment credit history. And so this can fight those two negatives, or at least in my head, I think it is. I cope myself at night time. And so uh, I think that was fight those two those two negatives right there to uh, make it a positive outcome, which is why I think that this went up overall. And this one of 24 points here. And so I thought that they would have another one on here, another self. The reason why I thought that because I just renewed my self contract. So I'm not sure if they would go for the same account. Because the fourth one me I would say would be because this is a that's the credit card. So the fourth one me I would say would be uh the loan that they give you because you get a you get a loan with self. Uh and so you make a the way the loan works, you decide how much you want to pay yourself. So they make a savings account for you and you say I wanna put a hundred dollars in every month or forty dollars forty dollars in every month. And you say, how long you want to do it for? And they'll classify it as a loan. But you're actually paying, you actually take a money check and put it back in savings for yourself. And so uh, they'll classify it as a loan, they'll report to your credit as a loan. And so that's another impact. So that's four impacts itself can have on your credit. And I don't see it right here. Show comparisons. And I don't see it. Oh, this is stuff right here. So I don't see the other one that they have on here as that. Maybe because of the filter I put. Because uh, let's go back to the filter and see if we can change that filter. Because we use a uh, revolving credit. So let's say uh, I don't have to be a loan because that's what we just said. So it should come up on here. Yep, there it is right there. So yeah, this is the fourth time that we hit your credit right here. And this is the loan version. You see how it's different? And I just started this over. So if you guys want to have a uh, good impact on your credit score here I would say for sure for sure you self and extra the extra will have a big impact on your credit as far as you know credit on your own pace extra will have a let's just say extra self will have a major impact on your credit if you use all of the features of it so you use the credit card you keep that balance on the 30 percent and you keep that credit card open so keeping the balance on thirty percent, that's one impact, which is a big impact. You keep it open, which is the second impact, which is also a big impact. You make the payments on time for whether it's zero dollars or one dollar or hundred dollars, make the payment on time. That's three impacts. Three impacts that self can have on your credit score. Then you can do the loan where you say the savings where you're saving up with, with the uh 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 you do the savings where that you uh hold on, computer mess up. You do the savings where you're saving up saving up with the loan and stuff like that. And that will be the fourth impact on your credit. And so you can have all these self will have four impacts on your so by doing self, these are affordable because self you can make your own plan with it, with the credit you make your own plan with it, and also with extra. So these are five things that can be affordable if you want to dedicate yourself to it. Uh, self will offer you four impacts on your credit, and uh, not M one. Extra will offer you another impact. Will be a total of five. You can have a total of five positive impacts on your credit every month. And so I think those five positive impacts is probably what contributed to this going up. Because I thought that that I really thought that was going to go down, but I did start back on extra, and uh, I've been doing stuff for a long, good time. And so it's going up. I, I thought I, I thought it would go down. Uh, but yeah, that's everything for this video, and I will see you guys next month when we do our next trade report. And we'll see how we go. We're going to try to pay off our credit card, see how much we can go up, but I strongly am expecting these scores to go down next month. I'm strongly expecting that, uh, but we'll see. Uh, we're trying to get to 700 as our first goal. Our second goal will be 750 then our third goal will be 800 then our fourth goal will be 
I think our fourth and final would be 850. That's going to be kind of impossible to do because I'm not going to be there. But right now, I for sure go because we want to get to green. Uh, and the goal I really want to hit would be 750. I'd be happy with 750. 800 be extra. 850 be like way extra credit. But if you guys did like the video or you like the advice and uh, uh, about proving your credit and like that, hit the subscribe button and I'll be sure to have more advice on how to build your credit and things that you can use to build your credit, what affects it, what doesn't affect it. Uh, hit the like button if you did like the video. Hit dislike if you didn't like it. Also, leave comments in the comment section about uh, your guys' ideas on how to build credit or if you guys have questions on how to, on how to build your credit. Or what application are you guys using? Are you guys using Credit Karma, ScoreSense, or something else if it's accurate or not accurate? I like ScoreSense because it is accurate and shows the three major credit bureaus. There are more credit, bureau, credit bureaus, but these are the three major ones where people look at. And so that's why they use a ScoreSense and goes into depth with the, uh, a lot of stuff. And I don't mind sharing that with you guys. If you guys want to see something in particular, let me know. If you guys have questions about anything that you see on here, uh, let me know. And uh, I, I will share the information with you guys. Uh, but I will see you guys next month. We're going to make another monthly report for credit. I do hope you guys have a lovely month and a lovely next month. And I cannot wait to see you guys. Well, stop saying that, right? But I hope that you guys join me on the journey here of my documentary of building my credit. And you guys can see how we're going up. <laughs> like, I'm not just going to pop up a big credit score. So I hope you guys do uh, follow me on documentary here or my journey of building my credit. And that you guys, and so that you guys can probably learn from this and take some steps on uh, building your own credit, so you can get to the life that you want to have. But until then, this has been Chris nineteen eighty. Remember, you have friends in the new monarchy.